Hey there, today we are going to talk about yew trees. Yews are great to use as hedging, green walls, um, a nice alternative to cedar. They have a rich, deep, dark green color. There is a variety that has a bright, bright gold color. They're quite versatile. Um, I, what I really like about yew trees is most of them have a very, very slender habit. So you can actually get your green wall or your hedge without losing a lot of yard space um, as you would with some other conifers. The first yew tree we are going to talk about is the Melford yew. And um, Melford is one of the most slender yew varieties. Um, again, that lovely rich dark green. You want to plant them in an area with full sun to part shade. Some of them can even handle um, most mostly shade. I've seen them planted in full shade positions, though they are not as happy in those positions. Um, Well-drained soil, uh, neutral, slightly acidic pH, um, and they're just quite lovely. If I were to plant this in the ground, I would actually um, start to clip it in the spring. I, I wouldn't do anything right now when I plant it as we're rolling into fall. I would do a little bit of clipping in spring. A good evergreen fertilizer again late winter early spring and maybe again later spring and you've got yourself a really healthy hedge. Make sure um, yew trees, cedars, they all do need to be irrigated. I know we often forget to irrigate our hedging irrigation is key in keeping a really healthy, rich, vibrant look to your hedge. So follow me, we are going to take a look at the next yew tree. This is Taxus media hicksii and this is a lovely slender growing taxis or yew tree. Um, great again for wall hedge. Uh, you can plant them if you're making a wall with these because they're a more slender grower You can plant them anywhere from 18 inches to two feet apart um, Some people do try to crowd them a little bit closer But I will say if you give them a little bit of elbow room and you have a little bit of space in between to start with um, You're going to have healthier plants. There won't be as much root competition. So let's go take a look at the next one This is golden Irish yew or Taxus baccata fastigiata aurea golden Irish yew is just fine. This has a very, very slender habit. Um, over time, it can get to be just two to three feet wide. Because of its gold coloration on the new growth, and again, the more sunlight it gets, the more overall gold coloration it's going to get, um, I would use this as a statement piece um, or, or interest in a you know, mixed shrub border or mixed perennial bed. Uh, it's just a really eye-catching specimen because of its color and because of its slender silhouette. Let's go take a look at the next one. This great looking specimen is Taxus H.M. Eddy or Eddy's U. Um, this is the one most commonly used for hedging and beautiful green walls. Again, it's a very upright columnar. It has a little more width to it, a little more substance than the Irish U. Um, great for hedging. Uh, again, not too sprawly or wide. You're not going to lose a lot of your yard, but you have this spectacular, deep, dark, rich green coloration. So this is Taxus H.M. Eddy's. Uh, let's go take a look at the next one. This unique variety of Taxus is called Taxus Media Flushing Parade or Flushing Parade Yew Tree. Um, its claim to fame is incredibly narrow and incredibly slow growth. So it, as a unique specimen in a mixed conifer garden um, or even in containers where you need slower growth, larger containers where you want to pick a height and keep it at that height with a minimum of you pruning, Flushing Parade is a really interesting variety. This is Taxus Media Hicksii or Hicksii U. It has a broadly pyramidal shape to it, um, so it's slightly wider but still quite compact. Beautiful green color, great as a foundation plant or, or green wall or hedging. Um, great little tree. This is Taxus media repentance, a completely different yew from what we were looking at before. Spreading English yew is great if you need a 
a shrub, an evergreen shrub that sort of takes up a larger area, especially a, a woodland area. It can grow to about 16 feet wide. It can still get quite tall, up to eight feet, uh, but takes trimming quite well, even into the old wood. Um, so if you want to uh, have a slope to cover and you want this great big green, evergreen cover, this is probably your guy. Thanks for joining me in the conifer section. Um, as we talked about yew trees, we have over two acres of conifers. We have lots of people like Alex and Gravier here to help you. So even if you want something really large like Gravier has in the tractor, or really small, if you just need somebody to help you put it on your cart, Got the folks. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Thanks Gravier. See you later, guys.